All right, boys, ladder prediction time. I'll play the role of uh, Grant Denyer. I'm going to just grab a club at random. Where are they going to finish in the 16? Let's start with Melbourne Storm Reedy, Bulldog. Where will they finish? Well, I've got them down as fifth. I can't see them being the dominant force that they have been for the last few years, but while Bellamy's there and while Cameron Smith's there, I think they're semi-final team. I reckon they're one of the really intriguing sides, given Billy's gone now. I've gone sneaking into the top four, just into four spots. So I think they've got enough quality still in Melbourne. I've got them just in the top. Well, I'll put them in top four. I'm happy to concede a little Fourth. bit there. Fourth. Given that, obviously, that uh, Slater's You're giving me one there. early, Doc. I'll give you one early, but, oh, but I'll get it back oh. off you later. Ricky's boys, the Raiders. Oh, well, Ricky's boys have been underachievers the last few years, but they've got a great roster. It's an exciting roster. Ricky's a good coach. In my eyes, it depends on Aiden Caesar. I've still got them inside the eight through guys like Josh Hodson. I've gone down to seven three. I reckon they need wild card weekend because I've got them in about tenth spot. I don't think they can make the finals. I think there's too much quality above them. It wouldn't surprise me if they snuck in. We'll put them at ninth then, Adam. Ninth? I'll concede a little bit there, but I think they're good enough to get they're there. They're on the bubble. They're one of those sides in seventh to sixth to tenth. I reckon they can get on a roll and win five, six, seven in a row. The Raiders. Yeah. What about the old West Tigers, Reedy? You love this. Oh, game. I love Madge. One of the great coaches in our game, but he's got his hands full there. I, I just don't think they're going to make it, the West Tigers. I, I, look, I think they're going to be, again, in, I think they're in that spot from about 9th to, to 13th, the Tigers. Yeah, I've got them at 12th. Maguire's obviously That's a key factor, fair. Adam, but you know, Brooks is the key this Outstanding. year. Outstanding. I think you'll win the Dally M. Yeah. 12th it is. If Brooks can do it, I think they can uh, have some impact. But, yeah, I've got them out as 12th. What about the Parramatta Eels? Wooden Spooners last year, where will they finish? Oh, look, I've got them down here as 14th. Big year for Brad Arthur. It's yeah. make or break for him and a lot of key players. But they've got the same personnel. I've got them down as 14th. 14th. He'll probably lose his job if they finish 14th, Doggy. But I'm with you. I don't think they can make the finals. No way in the world. I think they're in the bottom four. I'll, t I'll take 14th, Dog. I think Brad's got six to eight weeks, Reedy. If he doesn't perform and win three or four games it's in that tough, period, Reed. I think Real it tough. might be... Probably depends uh, a lot on those halves. Young Dylan Brown and Mitch Moses. Let's go up north. If I can get this off, the Broncos. What a great club. We're going to disagree here. He's a Queenslander. I've so got him finishing. Totally I've misleading. got a minor premier. I first? Mean, that good. No, they're not going First? Can I put them up? I've got him first. I've got him missing out. Missing oh, the eight? Well, where do you want him? All right, how about we put him third? That's a compromise. That's a fair compromise. Third Look, for now? They've got the best young co emerging young coach in the game. Their roster is stacked. Their forward pack has got th three of the best young forwards. Yeah, but they're underachievers the already. They haven't won since 06. I reckon They've got all these resources and all these facilities, but they just don't win. I reckon Seabold will get the best out of their halves, and I reckon they'll give it, they'll be, give it a real Leave shake. Up or shit. down? Up or down? Leave them there. Leave them there for now? Top four I'll take. Okay. Now, a club with plenty of dramas at the moment, Oof. the Penny Panthers. We're going to argue over this, because I think they've got a great roster, Penrith. They've got great halves. They've got a good coach back again. I had them down to run second. I had him in my grand final. He disagrees. I'm worried about what the impact of this off-season for them. I really am. I think it's been really destabilising. But, um, Reedy, you forget in May and June what it was like back in but it might February. Still, it might still be going in May or June, Doc. The amount of videos that are coming out. I you reckon, not mentioned May? I reckon, <laughs> that's true. I reckon they'll scrape in a eighth spot. All right, well, how about we compromise there, Reedy? We'll put them at six. OK, I'll Is take that. Is fair? Because yeah, I think they're, they're a better side than six, but... Yeah. I'm happy to compromise. You guys are getting on well today. I know, I don't like it. Bring back Zorba. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go across to Tasman, the Warriors. They're a hard side to pick for me as well. Really hard side. Sean Johnson, massive loss for them. Um, I can't see them making the eight. I, I had them in about 13th spot, to be honest. So That's exactly where I've got them, Reedy. Oh, look at that. We agree. This is too friendly, Lush. Wow. Look, Johnson not being there, I think, It's hurts a big them. loss for them. But look, there could be an argument saying, you know what, he never won us anything, yeah. so let's try something new. So good luck, good luck to him in that era. I think it was time for him to move on. Blake Green's a very good player, but he's going to need someone to help him out in the halves. I'm not sure whether they've got someone. The Knights. Is this the year they finally make the eight? You know what, I was looking at their, I was looking at their season the other day. They, they won seven games, I think, last year. You need to win another five games to make the finals. Now, they missed Mitchell Pearce for a lot of that. I think they missed eight games last year. Probably would have won the Dally M if you played the entire year. But I've still got some concerns over them. I can't see them in the eight. I, I reckon they're about 10th. Well, I've got them down as 11th. Pearce and Ponga is obviously the key, really, whether they, they can gel this year and what impact Clemmer can make. They, they want his grunt. They want his aggression. They want his experience. If he can make an impact... I think they can do some good things. Having said that, I've got them down as 11th. Ready? I reckon. I'll, I'll say 10th or 11th. I'll, we'll leave that one to Lush. What are you going to go uh, with? I'll put him 10th. 10th. For now, we can shuffle it around. What about the doggies? Same roster, different style. That's the only reason I'm a little bit up in the air as to where they're going to finish. 
Dean Pace promising and attacking a new flamboyant style with Four and uh, Lachlan Lewis. But look, it's the same roster. I love the old dogs, but I've got them coming 15th. I, I can't get them any high, ready. Yeah, look, I've got him coming last. I, I, you know, uh, a lot depends on Kieran Foran, depending on how Kieran Foran is. Says he's fit. He says he's fit, but, but he's... I think we heard the same thing last year with Foz. If Foz is fit, they're a chance of being a lot better than they were last year, but I'm putting an asterisk beside them. 16th with an asterisk. 16th, 15th? Oh, I'm 15th, but I'll go with Reed if he wants to put them last. Wooden Spurners, there you go. Reed, you've got to put up with their spurners. fans on social media, oh, not me. Filthy. Mm. Oh. At Brent Reed. <laughs> Underscore about... seven. The Gold Coast Jump on board. Titans. You know, I like the Titans. I reckon they've got a really good roster, to be honest. And, and you know, I, I think they're a chance for the top eight. I've got them coming ninth, but I reckon they're a smoky for the top eight, the Titans. I think they've got a very good roster. Out, out of Brian Kelly, um, you know, I think this roster's a lot better than it was last year. I think they're going to give it a shake. I've got them coming last. <laughs> So that's how we differ. Well, Reedy, someone's going to come last. You know, you've got the Bulldogs. Well, we've got the dogs. The dogs are a better side than the Titans. So you want them 15th? Look, I'll compromise. You've got them up in the 8th, nearly, haven't you? Yeah, I've got them. Well, I'm happy to slide them into 11th, but I think that's far too high. I think their roster is certainly less than the Warriors and the Tigers. But for the sake of the argument, 11th? 11th. OK, who are we going to put 15th? Doggy, this well, that's good, it. You, kept, this you want everyone in the top 8. Well, you know, you're going to have to do some shuffling, I think, here, boys, once all the teams are up. Let's go the Dragons. Um, they've had a quiet off-season. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I've got them coming third. Mind you, I was asked to do my tips for the Daily Telegraph before the Jack DeMellon drama. How much impact will that have? I think it's huge. Right? You speak to other coaches around the league, they will tell you that they, when they plan for the Dragons, it starts with Jack DeMellon. That's how important he is to their team. So I'm worried about them. I, I would have had them in my top four, but without Jack DeBellin, I've dropped them down to seventh. I, I don't think they're a top four side with no Jack DeBellin. Well, you're seven, I'm three, so the simple compromise would be five. five. So I'm going to slot there. the Dragons in there. Yeah. All right, this is getting very interesting now. Desmond Hasler. Will there be vast improvement under Desi at Brookdale? There, there's no doubt there will be. Yeah. There's no doubt there will be. You know what Des is like. He's methodical, he's clinical. He'll get everything possibly in order. The roster will be a problem, though, if yeah. there's no Dylan Walker and Tommy Trebojevic is obviously injured early. That takes a lot of firepower of them. I've got him sneaking into eighth position, Reedy. I can't see that happening, to be honest. I, I love Des. I think he's a great coach. I just don't think he's got the cattle at the moment. Well, where do you to want to put him the then? Eight. Well, how about if we slide we everything down and we put him ninth? So you settle on Seagulls ninth. Yeah, let's I go. I live with it. Move everything down, Seagulls in ninth. Will that be a good year for Des? I think that's a pass mark. Not in Des's eyes. No, but I think in, in the eyes, in of, the many, eyes of the fans, that's yeah. a good result for them. Steady. Steady. That's in contention for the top eight game. There's a wild card weekend. They're in, they're in the mix. Four clubs to go, boys. Sharkies, they've had plenty of problems over the summer. Where will they finish? Oh, look, I like the Sharks. They've been tough, yeah. resilient. They've got Johnson, Wade Graham, the Fafitas, the Gallons. They're a tough, tough football team. I had them down at six, Rudy. Yeah, I had them down... Fifth doggy. I, I really like what Sean Johnson will bring. I think Sean Johnson with the shackles off there could, could, could be a great signing for them. Uh, you know, they're stacked. Their forward pack's quality. Wade Graham's a big loss early on, though. I think that could, that could hurt them early on in the season. They'll come home with the wind in their sails. I'd have them about seventh, but I reckon they can give it a shake. All right. Well, I'm happy with seventh. Seventh? Yep. The Sharkies? The Sharks have got to be in there somewhere. All right. Let's go to the Cows. Very disappointing season last year. Will they improve much? I think they'll improve massively. You've got to think Michael Morgan will be back for them. Um, Ben Barber's a big loss. Fullback's going to be a, a hassle for them, but I think they're going to be a lot better this year. A lot better. A lot depends on Morgan. This is his first year, Reedy, where he's really got no first, and albeit first and missed a bit last yeah. year. This is his time now to take over that team and to eradicate the first and influence in some ways, even though we'll never forget him. Yeah. But he's got to look after this team. He's got to own it. So I think they can make the eight. I've got him down as eight tenth. Up. I'd have seven. I'd have an eighth. Yeah, let's eight. stick them in. Happy there. with eight? Yep. Yeah, yeah, eight's a good spot. Well, the top look eight. Look where that leaves, ready? The Eastern Whoa. Suburbs oh, Derby. Rivals. You got Rabbitohs, Roosters. Looks like they're going to be one and two unless we do some late shuffling. I can live with one and two, ready? Let's go. Yeah. I really, I really can. Both my let's top go four. the Rabbits. I'd have Rab I've got them down as fourth, but they're grand final material. Yeah. So if you put them second, I'd have absolutely no I problem with third dog, so I reckon we go second for the Rabbits. Which leaves us the first time... Since 92, 93, the Roosters going back to back. Can you live with that, Reedy, or not? I can live. I don't think they'll go back to back, but I can live with it. I, I actually had them second. I think the Broncos are the team for me, but I can cop the Roosters at number one because, you know, I, I would argue they're better than last year. They time. are better. And, gee, that Trent Robinson's a great coach. He, he is just well, let's put the, across everything. The Chookies minor premiers. Chooks won. Yes. Um, have a good look at it. We can, uh, we'll can. we have some thinking music now and you can shuffle them around. OK.
All right, last chance. No, look, I'm really comfortable with that. Quite clearly, you could flip a few around. Uh, but, but generally, Reedy, I think we've yeah. got it as close to the dog here. we can. I think no, we've, we've I, nailed the dog. I'm happy with the Cowboys 8. Dragons, Panthers, Sharks, Cowboys. That, that's my 5 to 8. I think that's just about spot that's on. That's pretty good, yeah. Well, I'd have the Broncos a little higher. I think they're going to be a lot better this year under Anthony Seabold. I think you'll get their halves um, controlling games and, and getting them over the line. So I, I might move them up a little bit, maybe to second, but I can cop them third. The only one I'd change, if anything, really, would be I'd possibly move the Dragons or Panthers up in place of the Storm. Yeah. Are we... Other end of the table, are you happy? I think we're happy down the bottom there. Eels second last. Well, well, where do they go? They, they, they're the current wooden spooners. Their halves are going to be a massive issue for them. If their halves don't get it right, they could finish with the spoon again. Well, that's a, that's a new coach. And who's it? their if hooker? Yeah. Their hooker's Reed Mahoney at the moment. He's just a kid. So their spine, there's some concerns over their spine. Clint Gutherson hasn't done a new deal yet. That could be destabilising. Um, you know, I, don't, I don't think I'd have them any higher. That's it. Seagulls. Uh, that was easy, dog. Well done. Yeah, nailed it. Are you going to ring Des and tell him, or do you want me to? I've got a ninth. That's I'll, an improvement. I'll, I'll He's a ringing. genius. I'll be telling Des. He's still a super coach. Look, they've moved up. What did they finish last year? 15th? Yes. We've moved him up six spots. He can't complain about that, can he? Fair enough. Read and bulldog. Des. Des. Come on, Des. Cut us some slack. Mm -hmm.